Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing today? So today I'm gonna kind of go over a very requested question on my here on my channel. So I put out multiple videos talking about skins in general, and I've gotten a lot of questions about the skin Power Cord. Power Cord was released once, and I believe it was in March. I do not know the specific date. Uh, if you guys know it, tell me down in the comments. But it has never came back to the shop since. A lot of people want it and consider it one of the more rarer skins in the game and one of the more cooler skins, specifically for the back bling. It is basically a punk rock chick, and she has an awesome pink guitar back bling that looks very cool on a lot of characters. Now, why hasn't this skin returned? A lot of people want it because they maybe have never really, you know, thought it was a really good skin, but now that they look at it, and um, here I am, guys, telling you guys, why has never come back? And I'm going to be completely straight up with you guys. I do not know. Epic Games has never really kind of came out and talked to us talk to us about, you know, how maybe the power cord will return. They never even really mentioned it. They never said it, it's never returning. They never said it was a seasonal skin, which I highly doubt it would be. But um, they never really came out and said it's not returning. It is returning or it's a seasonal skin. So, it leaves fans to believe that maybe it has a chance of coming back, but here is why. So, I put in a video a while ago talking about how to tell when skins come back. And a lot of people said, you know, when is the power cord? And I guess I wasn't very straight up with that. Is that Fortnite really kind of, you know, they need money. Well, they don't really need money now, but they want money and, you know, every company wants money. So, if they're going to make money off a free game, the only way they're going to be making money is off the store. And that is their cosmetics. So, they want to be putting out the most best skins they possibly can. Um, if people didn't buy Power Cord at first, maybe they don't want to put it away. Maybe it did not make a lot of sales or purchases. And people want it still, but they just do not know that. It may be in a similar situation where the Red Knight, it, a lot of people don't have it, but a lot of people want it. And as soon as they brought it back to the shop, so many people bought it. I bet you Epic Games made so much money off that skin. Would it be the same if they were to re-release Power Cord? That is a very good question. And uh, the fact that maybe it did not make money, a lot of money is a big, uh, like, you know, topic for this, you know, if they're, are they really going to, you know, risk putting out a skin again that did not put out a lot of money? You know, think of skins like the Raptor, the uh, Rex, Leviathan, I guess, because they put that a lot back in, the Raven, those are skins that are always making sales, you know what I mean? And if they're going to put down, if they're going to put out a skin that didn't really make a lot of sales, sales, then why would that? You know what I mean? It was not. It's not a very good business choice. They have 24 hours every day to put in a skin or set a lot of skins that make them money. What are the skins that are going to make them the most money? And that, my friends, is why they don't really put the power cord. My, that is probably one of my biggest theories on why they don't really put the power cord back in. Obviously, nowadays, they probably would. If, you know, if they knew, I don't know if they do know about, you know, the whole rarity situation with the power cord and how, you know, people want it, similar to the Red Knight. And in my opinion, if they were to put it back, they would make a lot of money off of it. But who knows, do they know this or not? And, um, huh, what is another theory? Well, maybe the fact that they just don't want to bring it back. Maybe the fact that Epic Games do not think this skin specifically will make them sales. It's kind of similar to the other situation, but think about it. If they're constantly you know, having their artists or whoever makes the skins make up new designs, make up better versions, they might be you know, creating better versions of the power core that they can release and make more money off of. You know what I mean? You know, Think about all the instruments that can be put on somebody's back. Obviously, a guitar is a very significant one, but they can do even more. They can make it, you know... A half broken guitar, you know how rock stars, you know, break guitars every five seconds. Talking to you, Metallica. Anyways, um, I'm just kind of talking about, you know, like they could be constantly making more skins, and they don't have time to put these back. If they're gonna be constantly, you know, making new skins, improving the old ones, and making different versions of them, and they do, they really want to take their time and put the old ones that maybe weren't the best at the time back in the shop. If that makes any sense, think about it. If, say, somebody who really wants, like, the Bunny Brawler or the Rabbit Raider, why would they put out a skin that really doesn't make sense for the time? It kind of sense, it kind of makes the same sense, right? Like, why would they put the Easter skins in July? You know what I mean? It just, obviously, you know, if they were to put the Halloween skins, that's a different story. The Christmas ones, because they're more rare. But the Bunny Brawler and stuff, they came out in Season 3, I believe. And the fact that they would bring that back in July just makes no sense. And, you know, people who may have wanted it, 
are really necessarily like, you know, might, would they buy that or not? It's, it's kind of a similar situation as of that, and I just kind of wanted to talk about it. Um, so tell me what you guys think down below. Um, I believe that it's just the fact that it maybe it just didn't make enough purchases, and that is why they don't bring it back. And, um, yeah, I, I really just don't know. It's a very unique skin, has a very awesome back bling that a lot of people want. And, um, honestly, I'm over the skin itself, the outfit. I don't really wear it. I do wear the back bling a lot because I kind of think of it as a better version of the Love Wings. Um, obviously, me personally, I don't really want it to come back, but at the same time, I do because I can make a before you buy video of that for you guys. I can review it, I can talk about it. Obviously, the rarity of the skin would be probably ruined, but at the same time, please the fans. You know what I mean? Who cares? It's just a skin, it's just a cosmetic. If you, if you don't, if you think it's that rare, and if you think, you know, you want it, then, you know, it's all completely okay to wear it, you know what I mean? Rarity means nothing, and if you don't wear skin because it's not rare anymore, then, dude, you shouldn't even have the skin, because, you know, you should like the skin because you like it, not necessarily the rarity, you know what I mean? It's cool to wear rare skins, don't get me wrong, but... At the end of the day, people want what people want, and Epic Games wants to make money, even though they just made 300 freaking million last month. Anyways, guys, um, yet again, yet again, tell me what you guys think. Do you want the power cord or not? Uh, you guys want me to do any more videos on the power cord? Let me know. Just give me video ideas down below. I don't know why my chair is squeaking a lot, but yeah, guys, see you guys.